All of you have requested this and finally in today's video I'm going to challenge three most popular autonomous agents small AI, GPT engineer and baby AGI. I'm pitting these three autonomous agents against each other in order to figure out which one is the best when it comes to writing code and building apps. And I have some very happy news to share with you all. I finally got access to my GPT-4 API and I'm so excited about this. So I expect the results to be much better this time. So please annihilate that like and subscribe button because those GPT-4 API calls ain't gonna pay themselves. So in order to find out which one is the best, I'm challenging this trio to two challenges. The results of the first challenge are very interesting. So let's start from the beginning. For this first task, I started with a very simple prompt, write a simple to-do app with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that lets the user add and delete tasks. So this simple prompt will be given to three different agents and we'll see what happens next. It should be easy, right? First, I'll start with small AI. My first attempt to generate a simple to-do list app didn't go that well. First, I specified a simple prompt and the disappointment was that my long-awaited GPT-4 API API key turned out to be completely useless. Whenever I'd run small AI, I kept getting a very specific error which pointed out that I was exceeding my rate limit. And it seems like others have the same problem as well. And there was only one solution left. I have reverted back to the usual model that I've used before and things seem to work. I didn't run into that error anymore. I got HTML, JavaScript, and CSS files. Small AI generated a to-do list. It seemed to have all the necessary elements, but unfortunately it didn't really work. I couldn't add or delete tasks. Small AI has debugging features as well, and luckily I could use my GPT-4 API key for debugging, but I didn't really run into any apparent errors or bugs in the console, so I decided to leave things as they are. I could fix this on my own, but that wasn't the goal of this video. Off to the next tool, GPT Engineer. Again, I used the same prompt. Luckily, this time, my GPT-4 API key didn't hit that rate limit. But again, I got a to-do app that didn't really work. I tried to tweak the prompt a little bit by adding a few more details, like display items in the list and add the delete button. And thanks to this change in the prompt and a few questions the GPT Engineer asked me, I got a to-do app that worked. Yay! Maybe not the most aesthetically pleasing app, but it works. So I went back to small AI and replaced the prompt with a new one. This is the output with a new prompt. It's so much better now. Look at the difference that adding just few more words can make. But that's nothing compared to the next tool. Time for baby AGI. I set my OpenAI GPT-4 API key and a prompt and it didn't really run into any errors, at least not in the beginning. Unfortunately, baby AGI was incredibly slow and to make things worse, it started looping. It would write and rewrite all the files endlessly. But I liked that I could read its reasoning and everything I saw seemed to make sense. Eventually, baby AGI ran into another OpenAI error, which is why I decided to stop and check the results. And the app seemed to work. And if I didn't run into the OpenAI API key error, I might have had an even nicer looking to do it. It was also the most expensive agent. Small AI and GPT Engineer were both less than 80 cents individually, but Baby AGI was about $1.50. So here are the results of the first challenge. The next challenge is going to be way more exciting. I'm going to try to build a Chrome extension. And in this case, I've looked at the way that Sean, creator of Small AI, how he instructed Small AI to build this Chrome extension for him. He had a very elaborate prompt in Markdown with names of different variables and files. So I followed the style and I created my own elaborate prompt with detailed description thanks to the GPT code interpreter. And code interpreter even created a a cute little diagram for me. I want this Google Chrome extension to be able to summarize job ads and to suggest some type of questions that a candidate might get at a job interview. The thing is that I've never built a Google Chrome extension in my life and the point of this challenge was to see how much can someone really rely on an agent to build something that they're not familiar with. Small AI. I pasted my giant prompt into prompt.md file and within 15 seconds it generated all the necessary files. So in order to test the code I have uploaded the folders with generated folders to the Google web store and I opened this really cool website called Fosfox where you can find jobs for developers in open source. I enabled the extension and I saw that I have some errors. So I copy pasted those errors and used the debugging feature to fix the code. Unfortunately, it didn't really solve those bugs and I suspect that it was creating new ones. In the end, this is the best that I could get out of small AI and the more I tried to use small AI to debug the code, the worse it got. GPT Engineer wrote a much better code overall and it seemed to understand better what the challenge is. At least pop-up made more sense. The unfortunate part was that it still didn't work. An extension kept throwing errors. I 
could try to get to the bottom of it and fix it on my own, but that's not the purpose of this challenge. Could it be that a super slow baby AGI will be the only AI agent capable of generating Google Chrome plugin? I was nervously pasting the content of my prompt in the file because I knew that baby AGI will expect some generic broad objective, not a detailed prompt. To my surprise, it seemed to understand what the task is and it started generating all the necessary files. Well, in the beginning at least. Unfortunately, after 40 minutes approximately, it started looping. It kept coming back to one particular file, content.js, and it would make tiny tweaks endlessly for the next hour. It didn't really look that promising and my bill was approaching $10, so I decided to kill it. It just didn't really seem to go anywhere. All three agents were able to build a simple to-do list app in JavaScript. And it's no surprise because there's a lot of code for that on the internet. I personally think that GPT Engineer made the best looking to-do list app. The extension challenge proves that for more complicated projects, you definitely need a human in the loop. A human that's going to craft that perfect prompt. And the reason why Google Chrome extension flopped was because I probably didn't structure the prompt well enough and that's understandable because I've never built a Google Chrome extension before. Here as well, I think that GPT Engineer did the best job because the result seemed to be closest to what I was looking for. And I believe that that's a result of all the questions and clarifications feature that seemed to help this agent a lot. In general, GPT Engineer, it has improved a lot since the last video that I published. Maybe AGI is struggled a lot, but I have a feeling that once these models improve, baby AGI might be capable of building the best app of all of them. And I believe that because it has a self-healing properties and it can fix the code and find mistakes. And lastly, I feel like I couldn't get the most out of small AI because of the rate limit for GPT-4 API key, but the debugging feature was capable of making GPT-4 API calls. So let me know what you think down in the comments and see you in the next one.